Good morning, students. I welcome you all in Eighth Standard Geography class. Students, through this video, I am going to explain you book exercises and question answers of Lesson Five, Urbanization. First of all, let us do fill in the blanks, which is given in your book on page number forty-two. First one, at present, around dash percentage of the global population. Lives in urban areas. That is fifty-four. Second one, the increasing use of dash for agricultural processes has left many agricultural workers jobless. That is machines. Third one, due to lack of affordable housing, settlements with very poor living conditions called dash. Develop in urban areas. That is slums. S L U M S. Fourth one, Navi Mumbai and Thane are dash cities of dash satellite cities of Mumbai. Fifth one, a well developed system of dash allows citizens to access several online. That is. E governance. Tick the sentences that are true. Correct the others. First one: All people who live in cities live in spacious apartments. The sentence is false because cities are not spacious. All people who live in satellite cities live in spacious apartments. Now the sentence is true. Second one, cities have well-developed systems of local transport. The sentence is false. Cities have well-developed systems of public transport. Now the sentence is true. Third one, satellite cities are economically dependent on the metropolises they lie near. The sentence is false. Satellite cities are Economically independent on the metropolises they lie near. Fourth one, e-governance makes citizen participation in government affairs more difficult. The sentence is false. E-governance makes citizen participation in government affairs more easier. Fifth one, smart cities. Discourage the use of bicycles as they slow down the traffic. This sentence is also false. Smart cities encourage the use of bicycles as they slow down the traffic. Now, students, multiple choice questions. First one: Rapid urbanization began to take place in many countries during the Industrial Revolution. C option. Second one, there is an increase in crime rates in urban areas because overpopulation puts a strain on law. B option. Third one, small cities around or near large cities are known as A satellite cities. Fourth one, high tech city. Is the satellite city of B option Hyderabad? Give reasons for the following. First one, skilled craftsmen like weavers and blacksmiths move to urban areas. Students, this is because in search of better opportunities. Second one. Second one. Pollution is a major problem in urban areas. This is due to the concentration of so many human activities like burning of fuels, dumping of garbage, etc. Third one, people living in urban areas are often more open-minded than people who live in rural areas. This is because they are exposed to a variety of cultures. Fourth one, Vehicles in smart cities are equipped with commuter-friendly technology. 
This is because to drop the level of pollution. Now students answer in brief. What is urbanization? Urbanization is the process by which towns and cities grow. What are slums? Why do they develop? Students, lack of affordable housing leads to growth of settlements with very poor living conditions called slums. Third one, mention any four causes of urbanization. First point, better medical facilities, education, employment opportunities. Second one, better opportunities for trade and commercial transactions. Third one, better access to facilities like water, electricity, etc. Fourth one, the increasing use of machines for agricultural processes. Fourth question, what are satellite cities? Give two examples of satellite cities in India. Satellite city is a small city built around metropolis. For example, Gurugram, Faridabad, Noida are satellite cities of New Delhi. In the same way, high-tech city Vikarabad is a satellite city of Hyderabad. Define smart cities. Name two cities of India that are going to be turned into smart cities. A city whose infrastructure and management are supported by information and communication technology. For example, Pune, Lucknow, etc. Answer in detail. Question number 1. What was the industrial revolution? Access its impact on urbanization. The system of using machines to mass produce goods in factories came to be known as industrial revolution. Many of the things like electricity, trains, television and computers are a result of the industrial revolution. Students, question number 2 is the repetition which we have already done in the answer in brief. Third question, discuss two negative and two positive aspects of urbanization. Negative aspects, first point, more pressure on the available limited land. Second point, job market become more competitive leads to unemployment. Third point, it causes high levels of air and noise pollution. Now, positive aspects. First point, urban areas make efficient use of resources. Second point, better access to educational and employment opportunities. Third point, people living in cities are exposed to a variety of cultures. Fourth one, describe ways in which we can reduce the negative impact of urbanization. Answer, first point, opportunities for employment and education should be created in rural areas. Second point, Rural areas must be equipped with basic amenities like water, electricity, etc. Third point, better management and planning in urban areas. Question number 6. Why do satellite cities develop? Describe their main features. Answer, satellite cities are developed to accommodate the excess population and reduce the load on the main cities resources. Now features of satellite cities. First point, they are smaller than the metropolis they surround. Second point, they are well connected to the metropolis by major highways and railways. Third point, they have their own municipal corporations and administrative setups. Fourth point, they are separated from the metropolis by a geographical barrier like mountain, creek, river, etc. Seventh question, discuss the features of smart cities. First point, smart cities are eco-friendly. Second point, waste management is more efficient. Third point, planned utilization of resources. 
Fourth point, smart cities ensure good connectivity. Fifth point, educate and affordable housing for all. Now, question number eight. Point out the differences between a smart city and an urban center. Smart city. First point, the use of resources is planned and ensuring long-term return. Second point, pollution is minimal. Third point, use of space is well planned, so housing is affordable. Fourth point, technology is built into the infrastructure to monitor inefficiencies. Now about urban center. First point, the use of resources is unplanned and focus on maximizing short term returns. Second point, pollution is maximum. Third point, lack of educate planning leads to slums. Fourth point, technology is used mainly in the private sector. Students, this much for this chapter. Hope everything is clear to you. As you get the PDF file, write down, give reasons and answer in brief and detail neatly in your notebook. Thank you.